Hey everybody, welcome back to Pillbox Movies, I'm Hank, and today we're going to be watching the 1985 film White Knights. Um, White Knights is the second in a series of dance films I'm watching after being inspired by the Vanity Fair uh, Ballerina Reacts to Dance Movies video. White Knights is directed by Taylor Hackford. I believe it tells the story of Mikhail Baryshnikov and Gregory Hines uh, pairing together uh, in order to do a, a dance program together. Uh, Mikhail Baryshnikov plays a recently defected Russian dancer and Gregory Hines is apparently a Russian spy. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Very high concept. The highest of concepts. As in somebody must have smoked a whole ass bowl before coming up with this movie. Anyways, uh, that's White Knights. We're gonna watch it. My face will probably explode. Taylor Hackford, more, more like full of hack. Jesus Christ, the vascularity on Mikhail Brishnikov's arms. And who are you, the proud man said, that I must bow so- Ooh, he's got a Jean Cacteau piece. I wonder if that's, uh, meant to be, like, uh, inspired by Jean Cacteau or a real Jean Cacteau piece. Oh, look at the isolation that Mikhail Baryshnikov is- He has so much control over his body. Mikhail is a full-on G. He is- Fast approaching, becoming a boy in my movie stable. So it'll be him, him, uh, Montgomery Clift. Uh, we haven't featured him in any movies yet, but I'm thinking of doing a series on <laughs> on uh, 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 David Morse and his films because <laughs> he's a boy, definitely. Step on me. Very step on the energy. But how, though? How sway? You really gonna do this to me? You gonna do this to the rest of, those, of us men? How do you do that in an actual theater? Trick photography. Trick photography. <laughs> oh no, he died. And she was death all along. This is actually the rejected script for... Avengers Endgame. On our left, you have a clear view of the Arctic coast of the Soviet Union. Must do a drink again. White I say, Roll credits. I would say it's a very kind of risky endeavor to like pin your like uh, your movie on the acting potential acting ability of you know a dancer like Mikhail Baryshnikov, but we formulated an entire. Uh, entire franchise around the rock, so we obviously don't know any better. Oh dear, how exciting, how suspenseful. I'm getting the sense from this that um, <laughs> Taylor Hackford, for his many perhaps strengths and or weaknesses, uh, filming uh, action probably isn't one of them. This is a bit of a far cry from, you know, Flight in 2012. Where are we? We're in Russia. I can't land here. What do you mean? We're landing in Russia. Noted international criminal Mikhail Baryshnikov. This is genuinely, I mean, it might be more realistic, but this is genuinely the least exciting plane crash sequence I've ever seen. <laughs> I wonder how many millions of dollars this costs. No, brother. No, brother. They expect some bodies in the wreckage. I'd recognize those clear blue eyes anywhere. Make sure to bring the prongs. Hello. I am a part of a secret organization called SHIELD. We deal in special people like you. 
Would you like to join our team? Welcome home, Nikolai. <laughs> I will speak English to you for this entire conversation. Of course. Despite the fact that we are both Russian. The world will demand that you hand me over. The world. The world does not know you are here. The world is overjoyed that we allowed the plane to land. We save hundreds of lives. Only four people died. Who? Oh. What a weird concept for a movie. I always admire as a dancer. What a weird a and like dancer. It's got this this Jonathan Demi kind of framing. Where it's like we're watching Silence of the Lambs or Moonlight right now. <laughs> with this like with this with this center frame framing. That's a cool shot. Let me just say that. Uh in terms of uh you know, shot pulls. This is uh I think there's a shot like this in The English Patient. I remember this, this shot of uh, Juliet Binoche in like a caravan with like an explosion going on in the background. <laughs> a wild Gregory Hines appears. Oh man, um, Miranda July over here is incredibly entranced by his performance. That's leaving soon for New York. This is a weird concept for a movie. You and me I can like fit I can like imagine in like Taylor Hackford's head this would be like some like updated version of cabaret. But cabaret, this isn't. <laughs> Yo, man, art can exist anywhere. And I don't mean in, in Russia, I mean in a weird movie about dancers ending the Cold War. And it's like weird that he's like doing this like really upbeat kind of scene in this really dour setting with like this like sad babushka who's like not having anything at any of the like charisma or energy he's presenting in this in this scene oh it's, it's, it's Bella Rosalini she looks so young this is only like three years from uh, two years from Blue Velvet you are very good tonight Ryman Long time not seen. You know, I remember when you said I don't know how to say. It. This dude is just like said, this crazy kind of Loki character, you know. just like enacting chaos wherever he goes. Oh hi, you're up. Of course. You're from New York. She's from Moscow. You're a Virgo. She's a Capricorn. Why have they filmed this in such a soundstage way? Just bring the cameras closer to them. Watch your mouth. If they will tell you to, you'll kill me, wouldn't you? Anything to survive. You know, you're a real American paranoid, huh? I think they want me back here. How'd they feel about you back home in New York? Shut it's up! real odd couple. Real love-hate relationship. It's a kind of strange dynamic, because... Like intellectually, I understand that they're like their 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 roles, the roles that the movie has designed designated to them, is pitting them against each other. But like realistically, I don't think like these two characters would ever have any kind of like ideological conflict. Even if they have conflicting ideologies, there's no reason for them to like engage their ideologies against each other. Also, like this like <laughs> this orgy of evidence that Gregory Hines' character is black, having pictures of like Martin Luther album King, album like Malcolm X, having like a Love story. Supreme album, and <laughs> let's get it on on full display. It's it's a lot. It's a wonderful country. He doesn't like America because he's America dealt with anyway, oppression. Have you ever been to Harlem? Huh? Like on your way to an airport or something? You ever look inside? You ever dance at the Apollo? 
Like, <laughs> it's just weird. Cause like, y- y- you know, uh, his, his, his grievances are real, but they're like, not like, I'm surprised you never heard of me. They're a little bit too like rough to be contained in a movie of this degree of stupidity. <laughs> and like, this movie's just too stupid. I'm a selector. I mean, I don't know whether you know this, Nick. Do you mind if I call you Nick? Most black people in America can tap. What? I don't know. It's just a thing. You're born, you're black, you can tap. Who wrote this? We need to have a discussion. Who made Gregory Hines say this? And I got work. I was cute. Cute little colored kid. They call us colored in those days. Why? Why is he having this argument oh, with him? Wealthy. Why? Why? Why would he have any of his anger it's directed at this guy? He's an adult black man now. He's not, not so cute. Both of them. Cool. Both of them have a bad relationship with with the colonel. They don't have. They don't have a conflict with each other. What is with these dance movies with like creating conflict where it doesn't exist? The rich don't patronize tap. Can't get a job. Cannot get a gig. Like, there's so many, there's so many conflicts being conflated into their conflict. Like, uh, like, like high low. Like he does a low art. He does a high art. Uh, like race relations, American Soviet relations. Like, it's too complicated for a movie that's about two dancers. Obviously. Sam wanted me, wanted the whole ghetto. He said, I want all of it all. Get out of here. But when they made me the offer, nobody said you're going to become a murderer. Can't just be hired killers. It's not possible. We're Americans. I can't believe this scene is still going. Is this like the central? <laughs> Why is this a pillar of Russell no crying? <laughs> is this like the central argument of the movie? <laughs> this is like a really they're trying to kill you. Difficult concept to convey, they're like dramatically, to, to an American to audience. This is something they're that we're still like dealing with as as Americans to this day. So, like, to shove it into <laughs> a narrative about two fucking dancers, it's not realistically so going to be. Clear. Communicated with subtlety and nuance and understanding. <laughs> this is so strange. And this is in the first 40 minutes of the movie. This is just too much to process. That's way too high stakes to try and, like, inject into, like, the first act. Not only, like, high stakes, but, like, really, really difficult concepts. It's really difficult to communicate ideas of of nuanced racism to america and to an international audience what would they care about any of this how does it feel to be back nikolai what a terrible green screen i can't believe i'm watching this movie this is so silly why why 80s why did this decade of film exist This is actually sillier than Rocky IV. I would have never believed. Just you and I. What is this movie about? Who is this for? I wish we could just do Who thought this was a good idea? I dance when I feel like you only dance when you're drunk. Oh my god. They like don't have any conflict with each other. Who is the writer of this? This was written by the brother of William Goldman. This is like one degree of separation away from the Princess Bride. How ridiculous. This is also like a strange dynamic. I'm I'm happy to see like uh uh Barishnikov playing like this like kind of like angry like like spiteful gross kind of character it's it's very charming and weird 
but like putting Gregory Hines and playing the like sad like the the forlorn like lacks lackadaisical and like lethargic character is like a real miscast and misuse of his talents. Like I understand they want him here for his dancing ability, but in terms of him as a character actor, it's such an abuse of his talents. I can't believe this movie's director is married to Helen Mirren. Did she see this movie? <laughs> Like, who is the audience for this movie? Like, Patriots? People who want to see the Americans stick it to the USSR? I thought I'll never see you again. Through ballet? You bastard. I had to go. I had to do it. I can't even tell if the acting in this is good or bad because the script is so overwhelmingly terrible. All of the close ups are in this scene. It's like trying to build up all of this, like, sexual tension and, like, let you know you this is like the two key characters that we should focus on. Always were. You've never thought about anyone in your life but yourself. But they're actually not. I want to leave you. I was alive. Because the central <gasps> character, to get me to the central you. relationship, I've never is between you. Nikolai and Raymond. Help me. So why invest all of your energy into this scene? I'm like literally not gonna watch another movie from the 80s unless it was directed by Peter Greenaway. It's like trying to be a James Bond movie and a dance movie at the same time. And there's just such a weird energy. I would love to watch a James Bond dance movie. Don't get me wrong. I would not want to watch a dance movie that's trying to be James Bond. And then this like, also like, runs into an issue of like one of generally not knowing perhaps how to shoot like a, a good dancing but two like not knowing how to light like uh black actors like why have they not added any lights to like create highlights in this scene okay there we go See, I think that, like actually like the camera placement and the movement in this scene is really cool, but I need some some more in the light actual lighting itself. What's love got to do with it? Got to do with it? And now the lighting setup is completely different. Did they shoot this on a different day? I'm glad because it's clearer, but this looks completely different. I'd be arrested if I went back there. It's a different era now. Things have changed. You that was a cool sequence. I'll give you that. Filmed terribly, but he did a great job. Did they just choose to use natural lighting for this scene? Because it was a bad idea. It's such drab lighting. Look how ugly this lighting is. Imagine making a dance movie and not knowing how to highlight your dancers at all. It's easy to light Isabella Rossellini. She's like completely pale. All the light bounces off her. Look at how dirty you've done my man Gregory Hines. She's going away. No! Today you let Rochester talk to No! Is that the worst take? Did they use the worst take of Gregory Hyde saying no? Who is the cinematographer for this movie? And why do I want to track him down? Taken style? The <laughs> cinematographer for this did Out of Africa and Chariots of Fire. How did he make so many bad decisions? Sorry. 
once again, they are sublimating their frustrations towards the state of each other. And it's a symbol of how... Tonight, this is what her life is. No. You did it to her. Don't blame it on me. Of how, of how Wait, oppressive regimes make us feel as though our you own comrades are our enemies. Has any other theater in the world been like this for you, Kolya? Or any other audience? It's beautiful. Yes. And this is how people mani this is how arts administrators manipulate artists no, into you know, accepting lower me. pay and poor quality I conditions by appealing to their sense of tradition. If you wanted to perform in your like childhood high school all the time, I want to scream. then you've not made any progress as an artist. Look at me. Look at me. I will never pass for a perfect bride or a perfect daughter. How can it be? I wasn't meant to play this part. Now I see that if I were truly to be myself, I would break my family's heart. Who is that girl I see staring straight back at me? When will my... That's cool. I'm not a hero. I'm just a dancer. It's all I can do. It's what I live for. I'm a dancer. Play me the music. Play me the music, give me a chance to come through, all I ever needed was the music and the mirror and the chance to dance for you. I'm glad that, that they can um, come together using dance, despite the fact that uh, Raymond's wife got taken away from him due to Nikolai's actions. I'm glad they can repair the relationship that they didn't have using dance. Gonna fly now. Going high now. That is the difference between uh, flexibility and mobility. Пожалуйста. Не, 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 посмотрите. Серую есть можно. Первый сорт. Потом. Where they hiding it? Surprise, bitch. It's okay to talk. I just hate everything about this movie. I just. See, like, this is the difficulty of, like, presenting all these difficult ideas about race in the first act. None of them have been explored over the course of the movie. So you can front load the audience with, like, really difficult ideas and then choose not to advance them in any way, and it minimizes the effect of the ideas, not even just within and, and not even just within the scope of the film, but it, it, within the scope of the exposure the audience has to those ideas. Because you've made these ideas so stupid by not fleshing them out in the film, the audience will feel like these, these, these ideas are delegitimized. 
And so, this movie has made race relations in America worse by existing. Nick's getting out of here tonight, and we're going with him. Are you crazy? Yep, just talk as loudly as possible. You belong here. Listen to me. It's a chance for the baby to You belong to me. You belong to me. You never ask me what I want. How dare you insult our life? What good am I going to do to my kid in a labor camp? Is that what you want? Stop it! Whoever wrote this, I need your badge right now. Your badge and your gun. Two weeks with pay. World needs plenty of bartenders. I'm glad we're also doing the spy who came in from the cold. Have you guys ever seen the spy who came in from the cold? What a brilliant movie. Tell me. Please watch it. If I had asked Please, if you're a fan of spy thrillers. Oh my god. Me watching this movie feels like how I felt the protagonist felt in A Man Escaped. This is my prison. This is my labor. Once again, we've got this fucking backlit shit. At least they're... I don't know. At least they're consistent. I think this might be the worst movie that's ever been made. Because I'm under the impression that this movie was made with money. And that just seems ridiculous to me. Listen, I'm sorry for losing my temper. This movie has Geraldine Page in it. It has Helen Mirren. It has Mikhail Brushkov. It has Gregory Hines. It has Isabella Rossellini. What other choice do I have? He's holding all the cops. So what happens to me? Me and Darren. This movie cost at least 10 million American 1980s dollars. This is the vision that... Ronald Reagan had for America, and it is a dystopia. I hate the things this movie chooses to show as being important. A goddamn rope climbing sequence. This is me as Joan of Arc in either the Brisson or drier version. This is me expressing extreme anguish and despair for humankind. I can't come with you for some reason. You gotta go without me. Whoops-a-daisy! Can they just be shot and killed? I hate there was only one way this could get any worse, and that was by having the black man sacrifice his body for the white people to survive. You ordering me now? She's my wife. You gotta get him away from my her. wife. You're a man. You should understand these things. Run away from me, baby. Run away. Run away from me, baby. Run away. I'm about to get crazy. I can't even with this fucking movie. Uh, so many dumb decisions made in the last act. Look how many people had to be so dumb for all of this to work out. How many fucking coincidences and conveniences can you pile up together for the end of a fucking movie? Just a strange ass movie. Just. Uh, we don't want to blow it by speed, huh? Just take it easy. <laughs> Just try to relax. Just made worse as it as it as it continued. What a hateful movie this is. Hang on, it's not far. We're getting closer all the time. I can't believe this movie exists. I have such pain. There it is. Why have they genuinely tried to do the ending of The Spy Who Came In From The Cold? Keep walking. There are witnesses, Tycho! Oh, Larry, tell him to open his eyes! Stupid, yes! I can't! I 
too far away. It's got to be a positive identification. You'll be held responsible, Psycho. Why have they decided to do the end of the spy who came in from the cold? Don't stop. He's a Soviet citizen. How terrible. How awful. I'm so mad. And the black man was hanged. How are they going to arrange for her, <laughs> for her uh, defection? Are you going to tell me why you? They're just going to drop him off to his wife, and they're going to be reunited. But still, I'm like mad as hell that they're like preying on the audience's expectations of seeing a black man get brutalized. This movie is disgusting. Yeah, I know. The audience is meant to feel relief about this, but this is just like grossly manipulative and bad. And here we are with the back leg again. God. I guess these motherfuckers like their backlighting a lot. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, is how Bridge of Spies was born. You can pretend anything you want, Jack. Why was <laughs> why was Nikolai a member of this a party to this exchange? Don't expect any welcome home signs, Mr. Deserter. Why was Geraldine Page in this movie? Who did the soundtrack for this? What is this? Why does this sound familiar? What, who, what classical artist did this composer rip off? I mean, I guess it sounds like, um... I guess it sounds Straussian. Um... <laughs> I don't really have anything to tell you. Uh, that was the worst movie, generally, in the world. What was good? Uh, Mikhail Baryshnikov seemed, like, uh, charismatic in the few times that he had his outbursts in this movie. I think the guy who played Colonel Kaiko, he was good. He played a stupid role, but he was good in it. And the same thing with, uh, with Isabella Rossellini. Helen Mirren, I could kind of give or take in this movie. I don't think she really did anything. Geraldine Page, I think, was was grossly misused or underutilized, and I'll, I'll say the same thing for Gregory Hines, too. Like, this was a, a horrible, like, mismatch to his talents. The, the ballet sequence was good. All the times they danced were good. Um, and this script was written by Satan and directed by Taylor Hackford. So, yeah. This movie genuinely sucked. I was embarrassed to see, like, complex issues like the U.S.-U.S.S.R. relations, the Cold War, uh, black identity in America, um, all these things, like, used as fodder for a movie that was supposed to be a dance movie, but turned out to be a spy movie. What a twisted web of lies we weave. What is a man but a web of miserable secrets? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. <sighs> if you did, please give it a like. Leave a comment. Wishing well, giving your well wishes for me in this in this time of my greatest despair and emotional upheaval, please consider subscribing if you like this kind of content. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Keep watching good films. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be.